Hello goat lovers, Crystal, Emily, and Darren here with Blue Cactus Dairy Goats, and today we are going to weigh all of the does so that I can monitor them throughout their pregnancies, and also we're going to go over body condition scoring. So the first doe that we're going to weigh is Wildy. She uh, was eager to see how much she weighs. Now, they say that an average Nigerian dwarf doe um, for, the, for their weight is between 40 and 60 pounds. Now, I haven't had a animal scale before, um, but I have had them weighed by a vet, and I will tell you that that is way off. So, not to mention some of my first timers, um, before they're a year old, they're 40 pounds. So let's just see how much Wildy weighs. You ready, girl? Girl, you're okay. Good job. Stay still. All right, 69. So Wildy is not quite two years old, and her actually, her body scoring is, is very, very good. She is right at the weight she should be. She's not overweight. She's not underweight. Um, so there is a method of these animals back here. <laughs> there is a method that you can use if you don't have a scale um, and even if you do have a scale you're gonna want to gauge how much um, fleshing they have how much fleshing means how much weight they have on them um, just muscle mass as well as you know fat um, so what you're gonna look for there is it, there's a range from one to five um, one would obviously be on the extreme side of way way too skinny a bag of bones and five gonna be on the extreme side of way too overweight um, and the areas that you're gonna look for are right here behind the behind the point of elbow you're gonna look at their neck and their brisket and also there's an area back here well their tail rather so the skin underneath their tail so a one would just be a real kind of sickly looking goat uh, you see all of their bones you're going to see their ribs their pins are going to be sticking out big time um, they're not going to have a lot of meat in their brisket and they'll just you know it's, it's a bag of bones so uh, two obviously would have a little bit more meat on them but you're still going to be able to see their see their ribs and and things like that so it is a lot easier um, if you're if you're scoring your goat when they are shaved but obviously this time of the year they're they're not going to be shaved we're going to be approaching cold weather but um so you are going to have to uh feel so if they're long haired willie actually has kind of short hair so she looks real good but if they're long haired, you are just going to have to feel around and see. And Wildy, I just have to tell you, you're being so good. Um, so again, right here in this area, um, you see she's got good, good brisket. Um, she's, she's filled in. Now I'm, I'm going over her ribs and I can feel her ribs, but they're not, um, they're not sticking out or anything like that. So, so you should still be able to fill them. They shouldn't be so covered with, with fat that you really, really have to dig, nor should you have to, nor should they be sticking out and you're like, oh my gosh, that's ribs. So she's real good there. And then this area here, right behind the elbow, if they are getting chunky, you're gonna be able to have a big chunk of fat right there. Um, it, they like to build up fat right here and I'd say Wildy is is a three so she's she's right where she should be and due to the fact that we're gonna be breeding here very very soon um, she could even have a little more weight on her she could be approaching a four and she would be fine um, just because they could have all those uh, stored fat cells and you know they're gonna lose it during the breeding time so she will be fine though and if they are a one or a one, two, or say a five, that's when you're gonna wanna check the tail back here. Now all you're looking for is how much you can feel the bone in that tail, um, and also how pliable and elastic the skin is. And if they're super skinny, you're gonna be able to see that bone in there. She has the perfect amount of fleshing on her tail, um, and it's just elastic. You can see it moves freely. So she is absolutely gorgeous eating exactly how much she's supposed to she is right on par aren't you girl so there you have it so she is 69 pounds um, and she's definitely gonna get bigger so there are four to five when when a doe matures and gets full-grown um, so she's got 
she's got more more growing to do and she's not going to get a lot more height to her but she'll get deeper bodied um, and just kind of more more mass to her if you will and you're right so again at almost 70 pounds so she's probably going to be 75 to 80 by the time this girl's done growing if she stays and keeps her body weight perfect like it is all right thank you wildy you are so sweet we need another goat so the next one is honey um now what i do with my juniors you guys before i got this awesome scale that i'm super super excited about um is i step on my normal scale that's in my bathroom uh see how much i weigh and then i pick up the goat and then obviously i'm weighing more and i do the math so you know i think this is going to be a lot more accurate of a scale i think and i don't i didn't have it written down but i think she was honey was 48 pounds or 46 one of the two so let's just see what this more accurate scale says if you're tired of using harsh store-bought soap that is full of chemicals and want healthier looking and feeling skin then head on over to our etsy shop and treat yourself with some all-natural blue cactus goat milk soap the link to our etsy shop is in the description below let's go what do you think? Hold Stay on. Still. Forty-four pounds. So, if I said forty-eight, then that's you know four pounds over. So I'm really glad I got the scale because that's that is definitely more accurate. But um, so that's what it's saying. Forty-four pounds. So pretty she is. Okay, so honey, I don't really, I mean, I can look at her and know that I don't need to do her body conditioning um, because she's she's just a perfect weight here. She's got the perfect amount of fleshing on her. She doesn't have excess fat right here. Um, her neck has meat on it. Her brisket's looking good. Um, and again, you know, due to the fact that she's she's looking really, really good, you wouldn't really need to check the tail. But there you go. How gorgeous is she, you guys? Oh my gosh. So I would score honey here um, about the same, about three. So she's doing good. Look at how beautiful she is. Oh my goodness. She has Mayo. A very Let me turn on the scale. Can you step on the scale for us, sweetie? It's not looking promising. I'm about. thinking she's a good 75 or 80, more. 80,000 pounds. She's hey. not 80,000. Oh my gosh. She's like, she's four now. Hold still. 82.96. So that's approaching 83. So we're going to go with 83 because that is very, very close to 83. <laughs> Girl. You're so... And they say the Nigerian dwarf bucks, their average um, weight is 75 pounds. Yeah, right. No, no. That means you're bigger than a buck, girl. But you're not. Okay. You're, you're looking ornery today, huh? Always. Goodness gracious. She's always looking like that. And this is something that I'm, I monitor throughout the whole year. Um, just You just want to make sure that they're of good weight. And if they get too big, I've said it a million times, it's really hard to get weight off of them um, if, they're get, if they get excessive with it. So she is going to be fine. She is going to absolutely definitely slender down once she starts breeding and making milk and babies. Um, but yeah, so her brisket here... That look on your face, girl. Okay, so she's got good brisket. She's got lots of meat through her neck and through her brisket. Um, now, if you look at right here behind the elbow, you can see she's got some chunks. So that's what I was talking about, how this is one of the other areas you, you can check. Um, and then as far as her ribs are concerned, I don't have to dig. I do feel her ribs. It's not like you got to dig, but I do have to put some pressure there to to fill them to and fill then, properly yeah and then so because she is a little bit chunk she, don't touch my tail because she is a little chunky I'm gonna touch her tail if she lets me here and I mean I don't feel I really have to dig to feel her tail bone um, her skin's real elastic it's 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 good it's good and healthy as far as that's concerned so Mayo here um, she could she could lose some weight, and she's going to again during breeding. But uh, I'd, I'd put her just under a four. She's pro she's more than a three, but I wouldn't say she's definitely she's a four or anything. But uh, she likes her food, and she's beautiful. 
So this, again, as I was saying, broaching breeding time, um, you know, this is perfectly fine for her to be close to a four because um, she's going to lose that weight. Thank you, girl. You're beautiful. <laughs> All right, Rugi. Let's see how thick you are. Come on, girl. <laughs> Let's see if she'll stand oh, here. She will not. She might. Come on, girl. You're all right. Good girl. 67. Jeez. Girl, girl, girl. So, 67 pounds. Um, and she is just a junior. And she is about a year and a half old. She'll be two years old when she does kid. Um, but she's chub. She's. This is what happens when you don't breed them. She's, she's way too chunky. Okay, if you guys can see, um, it even, when they get real chunky too, it even kind of makes it, she has a long neck, um, but she's got all this extra meat around it that it makes her kind of look like she's got a stubbier neck than she does. Um, and even here, like they'll get fat deposits right here and here. So their brisket just isn't as well defined. And like right here, she's got a good amount of chunk. A good amount, girl. Yes. So she needs bread bad so that she gets this weight off of her. And then, so she, I mean, she's, she's a four, maybe even like a 4.25. This girl's, she's too thick. <laughs> that's for sure. But yeah, so that's, that's why I was saying in the last video, you guys, I do not like to have to wait if I don't have to, um, to breed them because goats live to eat and they just easily get very very chunk so this girl here is a perfect example of that okay then thank you Ruger <laughs> all right good girl so this is gonna be really really beneficial for me to have this scale um, I've wanted one for a really long time and I actually we ordered one and it came in and about a week and a half ago, we tried to make this video, but the scale was a piece of junk and it did not work and we had to just kind of go with it. So I made the hubby get online and order me another one and this one is awesome. But I'm going to be able to gauge them through their pregnancy um, and just check their weight and, and stuff like that. And, and you know, again, like with Ruger, I'd like to see some weight coming off of her. So we'll, we'll just see. We'll keep uh, weighing them and, and just see it. I think it'll be fine. Oh, yeah, Maddie's going to get on the scale. Yeah, right. <laughs> come on, Maddie. Hey, Madison, it's all right. Okay, I'll come over here away from you. Thank you. Thank you, girl. Oh, you did get on the scale. Wowza. Okay, well, nope. You got to get back on it. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, hey, Maddie. Hey, hey, hey. Maddie. Hey, hey. You're okay. It's all right, girl. You're Eighty-five. It keeps going back to eighty-five. When they're moving, it goes all over the place. But oh, okay. Let's see. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Hey, you were pulling on her collar, weren't you? No. <laughs> uh -uh, I got it on camera. <laughs> Maddie. Maddie. Calm. Madison. Okay. Hey. Oh. Easy. All right. Let me just check you. Yeah, she does not have a lot of fat deposits right here. She's she's good. So I mean, as far as for her size. Um, and her weight, <laughs> she's so old. She isn't even behaving for you today. Let's go ahead and put her back. Let's not stress her. Maddie. Jeez, that goat. She, she's not behaving for you today, Emily. She's very rarely behaves for me. <laughs> she did again. not want to know how much she weighed. Okay, so about 83 pounds, but like I was saying, that's uh, that's good for her body size. Um, she's she's on the larger side. She's not too big of a Nige, but she is on the, you know, the end of about the bigger, the bigger Nige. So she's good. Girl. Now we got uh, Miss Lodi here. She's, she's not looking very happy. Let's go, girl. Yeah, you know, that might as well be her normal face. It is her normal face. Ears back. Let's see. You're just a little girl. Stay still. Fifty... Four. Four? Fifty-four. 
So if all Nigees were as small as as Lodi here, then then yeah, maybe the average would be from 40 to, to 60 pounds for a Nigee doe. But even with Lodi, she's 54 pounds, and she is by far the smallest um, uh, in in the herd. Like she's she's not getting any bigger. This little girl here. So there you have it. But she is perfect. Also, she's got no fat storage here. She's got good muscle, good brisket. Um, she's she's lovely. She's exactly where she should be. There you have it. Lodi is adorable. She's right. <laughs> not always mad. She's adorable when she's not always mad. I don't know, you guys. I'm thinking Abilene's probably going to be like... A four. 80. Oh, her condition? She's not a four. Maybe a three and a half. But I think she's going to be like 84, 85. Like Mayo and Maddie. Right around there. Let's go, Abilene. She's a bit thicker than that. She is not it's, thick. She's not thick, but she looks like She's she very deep-bodied. Like you're supposed she's, to be. Yeah. Yep, got to get you all the way on there. Right on, Mom. Well, 86? No, no, it was a 83. It was idling in. Yeah, she's, she's about 83 pounds. She's perfecto. She does have a little bit of fat there behind her elbow. Um, We're not going to show that. <laughs> no, it's fine. So, but not a lot. You really have to kind of yeah. grab it. So That's she's, really she's, uh, a little bit, I'd say her, her condition, her scoring is a little lower than, than Mayo's, um, but she's right, right where she should be before breeding. She's good. Thank you, beautiful. Oh, hi, Ruger. Come on up, Bessie. Butterfat queen. Okay. Stay still, still, still. Still. It's holding on 58 there. 58. So Bessie being at 53 pounds, she's her stature is is a little bit small. Um, she's not gonna be a real tall goat, I don't think. Um, she's approached. She'll be two when she kids again. Uh, what you doing? You're silly. You're so pretty, girl. But uh, yeah, so that's that's a good weight for her, and she doesn't have a lot of fat stored. But she's got enough. You're good, girl. All right, Mia. Get your back always gotta dodge it. Come on, girl. Can you get on here for us, girl? Come on. You're okay. You're okay. Bye. Say. Say in 45. Are you on there properly? 46. 46 Look. pounds. They're so precious. Okay, so she actually weighed more then honey two pounds more per this scale um now this one actually stopped where honey was kind of going because honey wasn't standing still but that, that's a little crazy ah uh, should i breed you after all i don't know all right girl so she's looking good she's got good weight on her um there's not a lot of fat stored she's got good brisket and her neck is long and beautiful I would give her three. She's a three. She's a good three. Three spot on three. Yeah. Thank you, girl. You think 85 pounds? Around, yeah. 90. I think she's closer to 90. She's one of the bigger does. Her her stature, anyway. Hey! Uh, yeah. Make sure collar's loose. <laughs> 86. That's not bad, girl. That's not bad. Good I was, job. I was close. You were very close. So I was going to give her a few more pounds just because she's got such a, a big barrel. Now this is this is a very healthy room and Cammie has here. She's not overweight even though her belly is, is big and round like this. Um, now she does have some fat here. She... Are you hiding your thickness on me? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, look at that. You like to be thick, don't you? But yeah, she's she's looking really good. I would, you know, she's she's a three and a half or uh, three and three quarters. <laughs> so she is approaching a four. Aren't you, girl? She's good. Little Leia, come on, girly. Let's see what you weigh. Uh, come on. It's okay. It's not that scary. She's a good girl. 
Let's see. Stay still. You gotta stay still. Let me see, girl. You're okay. He is 40, you guys. 40 pounds. 40 pounds. Can we breathe you as well? She's only gonna be five months old, but I mean, when I was checking her, she's growing absolutely perfect. Like this is how you want them to grow. Um, and, and again, thorough to thorough, she was wide enough, <sighs> but she's only five months old. So, hey, I'm not breeding her. But even though she's absolutely perfect, in the end it's the age. She can develop a little bit more. She so. will. She'll have five more months to develop through breeding. She'd develop. Get me another goat, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it, Pepper. This weight will determine if you weigh exactly what your sister did. Come on. Come on. She's on. 43. The, the leash is on her. 43 pounds, girl. So you are one pound lighter than your than your sissy. And you have just actually the perfect amount of of muscle on her and like nothing as far as fat storage. No fat, but a big old healthy beautiful rumen. All right, Pepper. Thank you, girl. Okay, Dreamer. I'm betting Dreamer's looking like a she might be 70 pounds. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. 70 Maybe in the 60s. Nah. She's light. Oh, stay still, girl. You're right, Emily. Almost 70. Okay. 70? 71. Oh, all the way. All right. 71. Okay. So, okay. that's Sarah good. Is. She actually, you, she is just such a beautiful dairy goat. Dreamer, can I show you off? Let's show you off. Like, yeah. she, and she always, she's like, is not susceptible to gain a bunch of weight and to you know to get overweight but she is just her conditioning is, is perfect she's a three and she's just i love it because you can just see with her shorter hair and everything just how elegant her body structure is and you know this she's very dairy and i just love her but yeah i'd, I'd put her at like a three mm -hmm. all right thank you dreamer you walk from me? No. you're gorgeous no. dinky okay this is dreamer's baby girl Who's not such a baby anymore? She was tiny when she was born. Okay. Girl. It's okay, girl. Yeah, okay. It's okay. You're yeah, alright. Alright, what do we got here? No, 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 no. Get it. Put all the legs on. Come on, girl. Girl. Oh, dinky. The dink. I mean, it's not like you're overweight. It's okay. I don't need to be licked. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Let's try that again, girl. You're yeah. such a stinker. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Got a girl. Ooh, you got a good weight on you. 61. You're 61 pounds. I would not have guessed that she is 61 pounds. Um, but she's got some meat on her. I mean, she doesn't have a lot of extra stored fat cells. She's got a little bit of meat on that back tail there, though. But yeah, she's still defined. Um, you can see her brisket. You can see her gorgeous neck. And she's standing all weird, of course, because she's nervous. But but she's good. I mean, I'd give her a three, three and a quarter. But not not too bad. Good girl, Dinky. She's so pretty, especially considering that doe there when she was born. She uh, was so small so so small she might have weighed a pound and a half like just the tiniest little thing so she's put on a lot of pounds since then well hello Cassie ah! I can tell from here you're probably like a three and a half approaching four <laughs> is she on the scale yeah no no come here baby you're okay I can't see it. You guys see it? Yeah. So it's Staying at 80. 79.92. 79 
So I'm going to say 80 because that's very, very close to 80. Um, okay, that's what I was expecting. But when she first got on, I thought it was going to say she was in the 60s. No. All right, 80 for her. All right, girl. Should we see how much uh, fat storage you have? <laughs> she could be more um, refined here in the neck area and her briskets. And she's got some chunk right here on her tail here. Which, she doesn't have a lot of chunk on her tail, actually. That's kind of surprising, considering how much chunk she's got here. So, um, and, and you can tell, just another example of, she's a long-necked doe, like, like her mama, but when they get chunky and stuff starts building around here, too, it makes them look like their, their neck isn't long and elegant. So, she does have a long, elegant neck once some of this thickness will get off of her. So, I'm, I'm going to give her three and three quarter score for sure you're still beautiful though girl eight out of ten for her baby though she's so good she's so perfect she is the most perfect doe i have on the stand too she's just like whatever mom you're good take you're my fine. milk she always understands the assignment for sure she does thank you kathy ready lily i'd say i'm gonna go like 88 88 85. She's just a big body doe. She's not fat by any means, but is her leg on there? Yeah, she's on there. There you go, girl. Oh, wow. Oh, surprising us all with 79. And then it did a whole 79. 79, 76. That's not too bad, girl. I would have thought she weighs more than that, just simply, again, because she's such a, a big body doe and she's super wide. Um, I just love this body confirmation of this doe here. She Lily is, is gorgeous. And if they could all be as white as her, it would be wonderful. So, her scoring. Oh, yeah, you're, she's definitely at like a three. You can see her long, elegant neck that she's pulling back into her body and not letting you see. Her brisket is real refined. You know, you can fill her ribs perfectly. Not a lot of meat on them. Yeah, and she doesn't have a lot of stored fat right here. She is good. You're about a three, girl. You are ready to be bred, huh? You ready, Lid Eye? If you don't look like your mama, I bet you weigh more than your mama. Oh, stay. Six. Jeez, it keeps moving. You're not even moving, Lid Eye. Oh, but Dad, 60. Okay, <laughs> 60 pounds. So. Let me see here. Lid eye 60 and load eye was 54. You are six pounds more than your mama. She's also bigger than and her mama. And she's not even two. Yeah, she's bigger. And she's perfect. You can just tell by looking at her. She doesn't have a lot of extra fat. You're like a three. I love you. May, let's see. Oh, easy. It's okay, girl. We're just going to weigh you. Okay. <laughs> Good girl. Good job. Whoa. Is her back leg on it? Yeah. Not for long Come on, girl. Just stay. Stay still, girl. Girl. 65. 65. Yep, it did it. You stood so still. She's a show champ. Good girl. Yeah, 65 pounds, so that looks about right. She's she's not one of the big, taller does or anything. She's just like this tiny little package of beauty. Uh, powerhouse, so ain't that right, girl? An old tiny package. She is getting up there. She's still lovely. You, girl, really don't have any fat storage. I would prefer you to, though, since you are older. But yeah, so she's she's gonna be a three. I mean, she's gonna be all right. She's not underweight in any way, shape, or form. So, and she's. She's not one of my does that ever, ever really get on extra weight. You're looking good, so she's a three. Come on. A nice, healthy three. Dip it, dip it. Ten out of ten behavior rate. She's a sweet girl. All right, I'm going to go with she's not over 60, but we'll see. Ten out of ten. Oh, I don't know. Maybe exactly 60. That's where it's holding. As you punch me in my head. Why'd she punch me in my head, Tippy? Oh, 60. 60 pounds. Now, I have to say, you did not look the same weight as Lid Eye. But the scale said you are. You're so pretty, Tippy. Oh, so what would you that. score her? Um, 
Oh my gosh, girl, close your mouth when you chew. <laughs> First day. Girl. <laughs> um. Are you gonna score? I think maybe three and a quarter. Three and a quarter? Let's see. She's really refined here. She doesn't have a lot of fat storage there. She does have some chunk behind here, which actually is surprising me she has I so know, much considering right? her whole body, the way the body looks. And she's got a little bit of a thicker tail here, so I'd do three and a half, to be honest. She doesn't really look it, but once you get your hands on her. So you're perfect, huh? Perfect for breeding. Look at that face. I don't know why her face is turning white, but she is going to have just a solid white face. <laughs> Thank you, girl. All right, Ray, let's see what you weigh. Too much. That's what you weigh. <laughs> it's going to say that right here in just a second. Can you stay there? Good girl. Let's see. Don't move, girl. You're doing great. 61. Let's see. So definitely need to get some weight off of this girl. Um, she's she's a smaller stature girl, and she's definitely not as big as Ruger. But I mean, three and a half, maybe four. She's a four. She's a solid four. Maybe four and a quarter. <laughs> not four and a quarter, but she is a solid four. Um, just under. I'm sorry, girl. Well, all right. Well, you got a lot of chunk on that tail. And, like, it, again, let me put her this way. If you guys see, like, she's, she doesn't even look like she has a neck. <laughs> so, you need bread really bad, Ray. You're a good girl. Yeah, she's, she's, she's a four. All right, Daisy, you are the last one. Now, Daisy is a larger doe. Man, I think we'll be surprised. For a year, like, I, she's going to be like 75 at least, I bet. Probably 80, I'd say. I, I'm going to say 80. All right. What? Got on here? 76, 75? 76. I'd say... Wait, where are the holes? It's 75. 75, girl? So Daisy um, is a yearling. She's one of the largest yearlings I have ever um, bred myself. She just grew so, so perfectly as a kid um, and, and still is growing really lovely. Like literally she looks like she's a two or three year old with the, how she's maturing. Um, and she makes a bunch of milk. Yeah, she really does. She's a She's just such a really nice doe. I love this girl, huh? All right, let's check you out. Let's see if you're getting too chunk. Oh, no. Look at that. It's just barely. I guess, yeah, you really got to squeeze for it. You can fill her ribs. There's a good, good amount of meat on. Let me see your tail head. I mean, her tail head's perfect. She, oh. All right, can we get you to stand pretty? I'm like, what is going on? Okay, if we get that leg back. All right, so you can see she's elegant, she's lean. You can see that um, brisket. I can feel it. She has a long neck. Yeah, and she's just, she is perfect. So, I mean, I, I might go a three and a quarter, three and a quarter. She's probably just over a three, but... Again, this oh man, she's so gorgeous, and just the way she grew in the first year of her life is is really amazing. She's a stunner, just lovely. Thank you, girl. That was fun, actually. I'm really, really glad I now know the weights of my goats. I don't know why that excites me so much, but I feel like it's good to know, don't you? Good to know if we should breed them or not, that's for sure. Like, if she Layla is... was 60 pounds, somehow, she's not. But if she was, we'd probably breed That's a different story. That's a different story. But either way, um, yeah, I, I feel good about that. And then we'll just keep weighing them through, through their pregnancy and see how much weight they gain. Or, you know, hopefully Ruger and Ray, they're getting some of that weight off of them um, before they actually have babies. But... Uh, yeah, so anyway, got a lot more things to do for the day, so we're going to get going on them, but we will see you guys again soon.